Referee lateral, Akim Oleg. Second referee lateral, Lupushor Dumitru. Third referee lateral, Suhan Yulian. Main referee, Grosu Andrei. Arbitro de Colts, Chernoliov Danu. Arbitro de Colts, Krakvenko Andrei. Timekeeper, Tebordei Vladimir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first fight of the main card, FEA World Series. Introducing first in the blue corner, he's coming from Moldova. Let's welcome to Radu Kopachano. And we are underway with the second portion of tonight's card, the FIA World Series from Kishino, Moldova. My name is Daniel Austin. Welcome to the show, folks. Radu Kopachanu and Valeriu Karabet set to go at it here. 71 kilos is the weight division, and I'll tell you what, it is an absolutely ultra, ultra competitive weight division to be fighting in. Radu Kopachanu of Moldova, 18 years old with a record of one and one as a professional, represents the Lion Gym, who has produced so many incredible champions, not only here in the kickboxing end of things in Moldova, but also in the MMA side as well for Eagles fighting championships. Kopachano won in October against Cornell Lishi and lost to Dennis Farkas in March. In the ring, Radu Kopachano. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent into the red corner. He's coming from Moldova, make some noise for Valeriu Karabet. Valeriu Karabet, also of Moldova. So we've got two Moldovan fighters here getting ready to go at it. That oftentimes is a absolute recipe for disaster when you've got two competing athletes in a very small country, a limited number of fight gyms here. Raises the bar just a little bit as far as competitiveness is concerned. Valeriu Karabet, 23 years old. That is five years older than his opponent, Kopachanu. However, not a whole lot more experience for him. Kopachanu is one and one, and this young man on the stage here, two and two, is the 23-year-old. He's also seven centimeters shorter than his opponent, at least on paper. We'll see what it actually looks like once these two come nose to nose in center ring in just a moment. Karabet represents the Thai Stars gym and is coached by Anatole Ignat. Weighing 71 kilogram, height 1.78 meters, having a personal record of two fights, one win, one loss. He's fighting for Moldova. Make some noise for Radu Kopachano. <laughs> Presenting the red corner, weighing 71 kilogram, height 1.78 meters, having a personal record of four fights, two wins, and two losses. He's fighting for Moldova. Make some noise for Valeriu. Karabe! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a super fight. Weighing on the 71 kilogram, three minute, three round, extra one round, K1 rules. A referee in the ring, Suhan Yulian. You are fighting KO, obey my command all the time. No flinching, no elbow. Shake your hands if you want to. Go to your corner. Judge, judge, judge. First round, fight! There goes the bell. And I said there is a height differential here, and there certainly is. Kopachanu, with the blue tape around his glove, certainly the taller, longer, lankier fighter. And Karabet, 
little bit shorter, stockier. Both guys look to be in fantastic shape here for this one. Take a look at the base already of Karabet, certainly wearing those marks from the opening exchange between these two. Push kick lands there from Karabet, who just kind of took an awkward kind of a breath and squinted his eyes kind of strangely. Kind of tells me that he's still kind of feeling that shot from earlier in the fight, and that's not going to help matters either for Kabat. Lost his balance there to Kopachanu. Good knee on the inside. Look how big the shoulders are on Karate. I bet he packs a serious, powerful punch. Karabet trying to use those long-range weapons. He's certainly at a height disadvantage here, but he's using the push kicks well and the jab. Normally you see that from the taller fighter who's got the reach advantage, trying to keep the opponent away, but when you've got a taller fighter like Kopachanu coming in towards you, then he's kind of giving him a dose of his own medicine. We got a shot that strayed a little bit low. Well, we got a replay here, but the action is already resumed here in the ring. Low kick goes in there from Karabet. Big left hook goes around the corner there as they exchange knees on the inside. This is standard K1 rules here for via kickboxing in effect. So certainly not allowed to do things like that where you catch the leg and then sweep. Knee on the inside once again as we approach the end of round number one. And that'll do it. Time has expired. Kind of a glassy-eyed look on the face there of uh, Valeriu Karabet as we go back and take a look at what transpired in round number one. Quite a technical matchup here between these two. Let's see what round two has in store. Round two. Kopachanu trying to measure that distance. He hasn't been extremely effective so far in his modus operandi as far as uh, fully taking advantage of that reach. Karabet has been a very slippery customer here, and I don't think either guy has really completely figured out the other just yet. Head kick goes in, taking on the gloves. Look at the way he pushed him back that time. Right across the face, pushing him back with the gloves, which will make life just a little bit more miserable inside the squared circle.
good combo that time from Karabet. Ew, right back comes Kopachano, but he got tagged when he was coming on the way in. And what is this now? The mouth guard maybe has fallen out of Kopachano. Referee Yulian Suhan making sure that thing gets washed out. So many disgusting things on the canvas inside the ring that you've got to get that thing at least washed or rinsed off before you shove it back in your jaw. Good cracking shots that time, and he just put the brakes on when he was on the ground. Good sportsmanship. Here's another very good low kick and a right hand in response from Cabaret. Big knee that time. Kopachano, oh, it was a delayed reaction as Karabet caught that knee right in the guts. Is he gonna make it or not? That's it, he didn't make it in time. Karabet was doubled over in agony that time. He caught a knee right in the bread basket and was unable to recover in time. Let's take another look at where it landed. Oh my! Right on the left side of the body, right in the floating rib area. That was a perfectly placed knee, right in the lower extremities of the rib cage. And that was enough to seal the deal. Take another look at it, folks. Things were starting to break down here in the second round. There was a low blow, the gum shield came out, and then the knee finally was the final nail in the coffin. Mike Diamonds has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by knockout in the second round. It is for the blue corner, Radu Kopachano. A well-placed knee leaves an indelible mark on the lightweight division here in FIA kickboxing. And folks, we are just getting started here in the second portion of the evening, the FIA World Series. Coming up next, we go to 75 kilos. <laughs>